All right, the twisted pretzel. Look at this delicious food. These wonderful treats are handmade by a mom from our area, but before she was selling them in stores, she was selling them at school bake sales. And, and Bo Beck, owner of the Twisted Pretzel, and Pretzel rather, is with us uh, this morning to talk about her growing business. Good morning, and Now, you say you started this business when your son was going off to co college, but why pretzels of all things? <clears throat> I've always, I took my two favorite treats, chocolate and pretzels, and just combined them, and might made have started a business so yeah, the sweet and the salty you yeah, can't my, go wrong yes exactly and you've brought just a, quite a variety here what's your favorite or what's the most popular um, the most popular right now I think is probably the funky chunky bark um, everybody loves that once you try it you're um, you're addicted <laughs> all right can we try one you I'm most certainly try, yes well, at least just trying here. one how did you decide how did you get your business up and running it's one thing to say okay well I'm doing this for bake sales but now I'm going to make a business out of this. How did you make that transition? Well, for about um, a year before we started, I did a lot of research trying to decide what I would need to do and how I how to become licensed. Um, it was a lot of. It took about six, seven months to figure everything out, and I decided to uh, move forward with it. And so we did. Um, February 2013, we we filed all the paperwork with the state, and then the end of August of 2013, I was licensed um, by MDARD. So I was officially ready to go. Well, right. I have to say. I did taste this. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Chunky bark. It's so good. Um, so now you're at a place where you are expanding. Yes. So are you, if somebody um, wanted to order this online, you know, for gifts or something, can they do that? Well, right now they can't order online. Um, that is something we're going to layer in next year. We had planned to do it this year, but we've been so busy we haven't had a second to breathe and to put that process in place. So that's something we can do next year. Um, in the meantime, they can um, go to our website, they can call us, call me directly, and I can uh, get the order to them. And this is where uh, some of the folks can, can find some of your, uh, your products? Yes. Uh, Holy Cannoli, Viviano's uh, Flower Shop, Urban Attic. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what flavor I'm enjoying here, but it's, it's a beautiful it's shimmering. Beautiful. Yeah, it's like pink. Shimmering pink, and it's, it's a really wonderful flavor. So oh, thank God. you so it's much, It's a Anne. raspberry with dark chocolate. Ra there you go. <laughs> I couldn't place the, the picture. You can tell how refined my palate is. Thank you so much, Ann <laughs> Bobeck. We wish you all the best. Thank you very much. So when we come back, Detroit Lion Safety, James Ahedabo's in the house. He's yeah. going to join us talking about a little football and a new foundation he's launching called Hope Africa USA. We'll be right back. Thank you.